So when we are talking of other composers apart from the Trinity, we just saw some composers, especially from the Tamil tradition, who were uh, who lived before the Trinity. After the Trinity, um, we have their own disciples, many of whom were were ex excellent vagyakaras and uh, they mostly modeled their compositions uh, after their guru, respective gurus. Now, Tyagaraja probably had the strongest Shishya Parampara as it is called. The Shishya Parampara is a lineage of disciples. Um, Tyagaraja had, uh, we speak of three different Shishya Paramparas of Tyagaraja, the Malajapet, the Umiyalapuram and the Tilaistanam. Uh, we speak of them as separate Shishya Paramparas because they were propagated through three different individuals, all of them Shishyas of um, Tyagaraja. And the recensions of the songs are also, of the compositions are also slightly different, sometimes quite different. Mm. Now, Valaja Pit Venkat Ramana Bhagavad, who was uh, Tyagaraja's disciple, a beloved disciple, we are told, he was a, a composer of considerable merit. He composed in Telugu. And um, in fact, his composition on on his own guru, on the Agaraja Swami, in Ananda Bhairavi, is a very is a gem of a kriti. Uh, he says, "Guru varu mahimala ne mani bhuvi lo kuniyada dura." The mahima, the greatness of the guru, is not it's not possible to describe it. And uh, there are uh, many other compositions of his which, just come, come, which have come down to us. In fact, Vailaja Pet Venkat Ramana Bhagavadar uh, also was one of the, he is the source of uh, information about Tyagaraja because he wrote uh, a couple of biographies about his guru. Other uh, composers in the Tyagaraja lineage are Tyagaraja's own disciple Veenai Kuppayar, whose compositions are precious little gems. Mm. Veenai Kuppayar lived in Madras and uh, Tyagaraja in fact visited him when he had he went on a pilgrimage and uh, it is said that he composed a song Veenai Kuppayar's Ishta Devata was Veenai Gopala and Tyagaraja composed a, a kriti in Kedara Gaudai, Venu Gana, Venu Gana Lolude, um, when he visited his disciple. And Veena Kupayar has given us many beautiful compositions. Another great uh, composer, also of the Tyagaraja lineage, uh, was Patnam Subramanyayar. Patnam Subramanyayar's Patnam Subramanyayar's uh, Ankita was Venkatesha, Venkateshwara and uh, his, uh, he, he, there is a wide, there is a good uh, number of his compositions which are very popular on the concert platform as, as well. The, uh, Puchi Srinivas Iyengar, he was another Shishya of uh, Tyagaraja who also was a meritorious Vagyakara. Now, Shama Shastri, he, um, his own son and uh, grandson, Subhraya Shastri and Anna Swami Shastri, uh, they were very, very interesting, remarkable composers. Subhraya Shastri, in fact, has ha had the privilege of learning from all three, from Uttaswami Dikshadar, Tyagaraja, as well as his own father. Now, Uttaswami Dikshadar had many disciples. In fact, it is uh, recorded that uh, a temple dancer was also a disciple of his. Um, 
his uh, his nephew subarama dikshidar was a kara and just one composition of his is enough to uh, earn him a, a place in this galaxy of composers and that is his composition shankaracharyam smaramyaham in shankarabharanam it's a magnificent composition but the the uh, contribution of subarama dikshidar is uh, more than in his capacity as a vagekara he authored a book called the sangeeta sampradaya pradarshini it is called ssp for short this book was published in 1904 and it has a very very interesting story behind it how it came to be and the the main characters in the story are subarama dikshidar himself who is an orthodox brahmin attached to the etayapuram samsthanam the court of etayapuram the other very important character in the story is one chinnaswami mudaliyar who was a catholic christian living in madras at that time and other small very critical roles were also played by the hindu newspaper and the raja of etayapuram you can read the story at this link but so the sangeeta sampradaya pradarshini was written at the behest of chinna swami mudaliyar and with encouragement from the raja and uh, it is a treasure of compositions uh, dikshidar subarama dikshidar has very painstakingly notated uh, a whole lot of compositions in this not just krutis also varnams and lakshana geetams and so on and uh, he has also uh, tried to indicate the the gamakas uh, of the compositions how the gamakas are to be rendered so it was a it, it was a labor of love and uh, a very very it's it's a task that he must have toiled at and it's because of this book that many of the compositions that are in circulation today many magnificent compositions they have uh, been passed on to the later generations another uh, important uh, set of disciples that dikshidar uttaswami dikshidar had were the tanjore quartet they were called the tanjay nalwar or the tanjore quartet they were four brothers uh, chinnaya ponnaya vadivelu and sadashivam these were four uh, uh, musically gifted brothers who were disciples of dikshidar uh, they were patronized by the maratha king and it was during that Uh, so soon that 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 stay that uh, they were patrons of uh, dikshidar and uh, in fact uh, they have composed compositions in praise of their guru and uh, ponneya pullai who is a uh, was a composer of a significant merit uh, has uh, he has used the ankita of guru hadas and he calls himself the slave of guru kuha of dikshidar that's how he signs his compositions um, another uh, magnificent composition in nilambari raga amba nilambari uh, it seems to be a tribute to muthu swami dikshidar's composition the same raga amba nilaya takshi so these four were uh, they have had a very very strong role in the performing arts of south india the dance form that is today called bharatanatyam it was earlier called sadar now these four brothers uh, have uh, systematized the repertoire the 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 steps the content of the dance they eventually they moved to the court of travancore where we have 
where we had uh, another uh, great composer in the king himself of Travancore. This was Swati Tirnal. Mm, Swati Tirnal uh, particularly uh, is supposed to have patronized Badi Velu, 